everyone and welcome to learn A-level biology for free with Miss Estrick. This is the second part video to the mark release recapture sampling technique. Video one is just here at the top you want to watch. This one is showing you how you can do a practical easily in school or at home. So quickly a recap on this sampling method. So it's the method you'd use to sample the size of a population of motile organisms. So to estimate how many individuals you have in one population for a particular species of moving animals. Step one, you need to take an initial sample and once you've captured them, you mark them in a non-toxic way. So a paint that's not going to cause any harm. And then you'd release them back into the wild. Leave them long enough to randomly disperse through the population. Then you take a second sample and from that sample, you'll be counting how many you were able to capture and how many within that sample you'd previously caught. So those would be the ones that have the marking on. And then from that, you can use this equation here to create an estimate. So number of organisms initially caught multiplied by the number of organisms in the second sample divided by the number of marked organisms recaptured. So let's see it in action. The population that I have is a bag of Skittles. So these are going to be representing my animal population. So I'm going to go through the entire practical. And step one is where I'd have to capture my initial sample and mark them. So what I'm doing in this experiment is I've captured them and I've marked them green. So that's why in the video you can see I'm picking out all the greens, counting how many greens I have. So imagining that's the sample I initially caught marks them green and I had 41 greens then I mixed it up to let them evenly disperse took a second sample counted how many in the sample and I had four green so those are the ones that were recaptured so using the equation that gives me the first estimate of 276.8 then I'm doing it for a second time and this time we can see in the table there were 22 in the catch four of which were green that I recaptured. Now this is going to go on to get 10 samples in total. And that's because the more repeats you have, you should end up with a more accurate mean. But as you can actually see from my um, table, the final column is my estimate of the population for each sample. And at the moment I've taken five samples and if you have a look, all of the estimates are quite different. So some of them are as high as 276. Some of them are much, much lower at 174. Or there's even one, sample five was 134. So it's not a perfect model. It does vary depending on how large your sample is and whether the animals or skittles are evenly distributing themselves each time. So here's my last sample that I'm taking. And I now have the 10 repeats. So the next step is I'm going to add all of those estimates together to see what my mean estimate of the Skittle population is. And we can see it's 190 rounding down. So the final step then is I'm actually counting here every single Skittle to see what was the actual population size of this Skittle population? So how many Skittles do I have in total? So I can then compare the actual number to the estimate that the mark release recapture method and calculation provided me just to demonstrate to you how accurate it is or how accurate it isn't. So nearly there, we've got our last bundle I've just counted, adding all of those up and it comes to 180. So the estimate is 10 away from the actual number. So discussion points that you could get linked to this practical. Um, number one is what I've just gone through. How close was the estimate to the actual population size? Now, I was able to calculate this because it wasn't a real animal population. The Skittles were a, a model. So I was 10 off, which was 5.6%. So it's not 100% accurate. And some of the reasons that I came up with was 
the sample sizes that I took in each scoop, so each capture, weren't the same. And that did cause some variation in the result from the calculation each time. Also, they may not, the greens that were put back and each sample that was put back might not have been evenly distributed. So I might have been capturing the same Skittles over and over again, which isn't representing the population accurately. Now, if this was a natural population, you could also add in the fact that the assumption in mark release recapture is that the population stays the same, meaning no births, deaths or migration. Now, that wasn't the case in the Skittles because the number of Skittles did remain the same throughout. So that is it for our Skittle practical to demonstrate mark release recapture.